Hello, welcome back to another video. This time a review of Academy's uh, Fiesler 163 Stork. Um, I did try and look up a little bit of history on this plane, but it basically came up with it was used everywhere. So, thanks. Kind of knew that bit already. Uh, so the kit version comes in a comes with a couple of different options because it was used both by the Germans during the war time and then as a, like a little personal plane that people can fly around in um, by the French afterwards so they had a little radio engine and you didn't need the rear machine gun so that was eliminated so uh, so the plane itself was used again it's another one of these short takeoff and land uh, stall type planes and was used as an air observer, so for artillery and uh, spotting any flanking um, uh, flanking forces. Conveniently, it's, this thing was quite a slow plane, so unlike the Lysander, which was apparently flying too quick, this flies fairly steady and slow, so you can actually um, observe a bit better and, yeah, observe a bit better. But also, it, the canopy you can kind of make out there overhangs the fuselage, so you can actually look down. Whereas the Lysander, you probably have to fly like this to have a look, good look. So, uh, so the kit itself, the main fuselage and the cockpit didn't have any problems with the wings. They're just two-piece wings mostly. So those were fine. These little bits at the front, um, I can't remember the actual name, they do have a terminology. But I had to look at a, watch a video by Kermit Weeks, because he's he's got one of these in a flying condition and he, it's about two or three videos long, but he actually goes around, shows some of the neat features and actually um, flies it. So it's quite useful if you want to paint the interior on this thing. But yeah, basically, I had to look at his video to see what these like front winglet things are, and what angles should they be based at, because the instructions basically just say it glues straight onto the front there, so not that helpful. The other problem I had, as you can probably see, um, I wanted the door open on this so you could just about see the interior. It's a, it's a decent interior. There's not much in there, but just enough, and. It's just nice to have some of these um, doors and cockpits open, or canopies open. So yeah, if, um, I had the door open, but because I had the door open, I think I then had so many problems with the um, canopy itself, because it's in about five different pieces. So you've got the front bit there, the bit down the port wing, uh, the top piece, the door, and then the last little bit of the starboard wing, or starboard, starboard side. Um, so yeah, that took forever to glue together, and then I then had to put all the um, struts in. I don't, if I think correctly, some of the struts didn't actually go in the right place according to the instructions. They come down. I think it was these support arms here. They didn't go in the right place according to the instructions. So that was a bit of a interesting mess. What, what happened there? Don't I say? I don't know quite what happened, but it, it's all assembled now. It looks good. But yeah, there's a couple of problems like that you bump into. Equally, the weird one being doors open. Good thing it's not hinged because I think it's going to <laughs> catch into that um, spar there. So yeah, a bit interesting. The landing gear as well um, was a bit of a nightmare to put together. I'll flip him over. So you just there's a couple of little um, bits there in the middle um, that you can that the landing gear to glue into. But yeah, it didn't quite go well together. It's um, it's generally a good kit, but someone didn't get to some of these bits, like the struts and the wings, wasn't overly that great. And I think, if I remember, I even saw the um, other ones back here actually slightly um, skew with a little bit. You just about make it on the front shot there. They're ever so slightly off. But overall, it's a nice kit to put together so 
uh, cool little unique plane. Uh, bog standard German cars on top. Apologies, I can't remember the exact ones. I think it's 71, 70 and 71. With um, 65 underneath. But yeah, it goes together. It's a nice little plane to um, put together and just stands out against the rest of the planes. Uh, you know, stand that will be on your shelf. Unless you specifically collect um, planes with um, high wings like this. So, yeah, um, nice little short video on this one. Um, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. And uh, subscribe for more. See you on the next video. Bye.